Alright, so um, right now let's go ahead and talk about nipple piercing. Just basic info regarding um, what seems to be a pretty common piercing I'm doing these days is the nipples. Um, they seem to gain a lot of steam lately. Um, it's one of the main things I do in the shop these days. Um, so let's just go over you know, nipple piercing 101 really. Um, first off, uh, the jewelry. So your jewelry is going to be like a, a 14 gauge or a 12 gauge um, barbell. Okay? Barbells are always the easiest and best way to heal. Um, with, with regarding this piercing, um, think of it like you do a straight piercing. You want to put a straight piece of jewelry in there. Um, it just doesn't distort the tissue at all, so there's no stress on the tissue. Um, therefore, it heals a lot easier and a lot quicker. Um, a ring has a nice curve to it, but that curve is going to distort the tissue, pull the nipple down a bit. Um, your nipple is going to constantly be fighting that that curve or distortion while it's healing. So. Barbell um, is the best route to go, and then 14 gauge or 12 gauge, never a 16 gauge. Um, 16 gauge is a little too thin, it's a little bit too wiry. Um, think of uh, the piercing in regards to like a, a block of cheese. Um, a block of cheese, if you take a thin piece of wire, it's going to cut through really, really easy. If you take a thicker piece of wire, it just kind of hits it and stops. Um, so potentially, this piercing can get a lot of movement, a lot of play, a lot of tugging. Um, you want that movement to be comfortable, um, you want it to be more pleasurable than anything else. Um, anything thin and wiry, it's just going to kind of cut um, and it's going to pinch. Um, whereas thicker, um, a little bit more solid jewelry is going to be more like a pulling and tugging sensation. Just something a little bit more comfortable, okay? Um, as far as the length of your barbell goes, um, I usually do a 5 8 length and for girls with larger nipples, about a 3 quarters of a, of a length. Um, you always want a little bit of play on either side of the, of the jewelry. So you don't want any bar that's going to be too tight. So um, like a half inch bar is probably going to be too tight to start with. Um, but that would be great to downsize with later on once it's healed. Um, so eighth of an inch, give or take on either side, um, is, is kind of what you're looking for, okay? Um, three to five months is your basic healing for a nipple. Um, probably closer to five months. Um, give it the entire healing period. And then once it's healed, you can go back and you can downsize that bar. So if you want something where the balls are a lot more firm and tight to the nipple, um, you know, around five months, I would say, you can go into your shop and they can downsize it to you and make it like that. Um, if you start off with a bar that's too tight right off the bat, what it does is kind of like seals the holes or plugs them up. Um, you need room for draining, discharge, um, just funky stuff like that that is definitely going to occur with this piercing. Um, so never too tight to begin with. Um, what else? A really common problem with nipple piercings is overswelling. Um, so with overswelling, it it can happen at any point during the healing period. Um, it could be during the first month. It could be during the fifth month, um, and it can even be a year or two down the road. You know, in, in rare um, cases. Um, but just know if you ever have a um, have your piercing get to a point where it feels really really sore. Um, it's really painful to the touch, and it looks like looks like those balls are dimpling in. Um, that's when you want to go into your local piercer and have them give you a longer bar. Um, give, put a longer bar in there that will allow it to relax and heal um, and for that swelling to go away. And then usually around a month or so, if that bar is feeling really, really long, you can go back in and switch it back to your original jewelry, okay? Um, you know, just like with any other piercing, um, during the healing period, don't spin it, don't rotate it. Um, kind of leave it alone, try and keep it as stationary as possible. Um, the more movement it gets, the more it's just like picking out a scab. Um, and when you pick out a scab, you're going to get more scar tissue. Um, it's going to take twice as long to heal. And not only are you going to be introducing a lot of bacteria into that piercing while you're moving that jewelry around, okay? So keep it as stationary as possible. Um, I know to say like five months to leave your nipple alone is kind of asking a lot. Um, but do your best. Um, the boob itself is fair play. You know, you can work around it. But as far as the piercing itself goes, just leave, leave it be, okay? Um, and as far as aftercare products goes, once again, uh, no hydrogen peroxides, no alcohol, no neosporin, no bactine, um, none of that stuff. It's just way too harsh. Does a lot more damage than good. Um, pretty much with just salt water soaks. Um, the same old salt water soaks. Okay. And um, I guess real quickly we can go over that again. It's just a gallon of distilled water, which is like any grocery store has it. It's usually around a dollar a gallon, pretty cheap and easy. Um, and then go to the salt section, you want to get some non-iodized sea salts, alright, just that pure sea salt is what you're looking for. When you get home, four teaspoons of the salt to that one gallon of water, shake that up, that just kind of gives you like a big jug to keep around the house, and once or twice a day, take like a coffee cup or a shot glass, um, in this case maybe two of them if you got both done, fill it up with a salt water solution, microwave it for a few seconds, just like barely body temperature, 
and you're gonna lean forward and push them up against your chest, okay? Push really hard, you get like a suction going, and that just kind of seals itself off, and you can stand up and hang out, all right? Just usually, you know, seven to 14 minutes is considered the standard healing time, but at least try and get five to 10 in there, okay? Um, once a day is gonna be good, twice a day is best, all right? And uh, other than that, you know, the great piercings, um, just you know that's gonna take quite a bit of time to heal. Um, you are looking at that three to five months, be really good, leave them alone, let them be, and uh, you know, anything's ever questionable or anything looks weird or out of the ordinary, just know the first thing you should do is just go into your local, your local piercing shop and uh, have them checked out. Um, there's always simple solutions to fix stuff, you just gotta have someone help you out with them, okay? Um, anytime you try and self-medicate or, or try and fix a problem on your own, um, usually it t tends to go south and you just end up losing the piercing, okay? So, yeah guys, um, that's it. Pretty simple. Just salt water soaks, leave it alone, get, get it pierced properly, um, get the right jewelry put in there, and uh, yeah, you should be good to go.